Do people in West Virginia have four arms? Artificial intelligence, or AI, has been the hot button topic lately. Trick be told, it's not anything new. We've been using AI for years. Anytime you type something in your phone and it suggests the next word, that's a form of AI. Things have gone up a step or two in the past few months, including an AI that can create artwork. Now the way this artwork AI works is, it takes the information that you input, searches the web to learn about what you're looking for, and then creates the image based on what you typed and what it learned. Yeah, that's a very simple explanation of it. So I decided I would use Microsoft Bing's AI called Dolly to create cartoon characters for each of the Appalachian states and a few others just for fun. And first up, of course, is Kentucky. And this guy is a little terrifying. The blue is a little off. It looks more like North Carolina blue. I think that's supposed to be a bourbon bottle to his right. And I don't have no idea why he's holding a fireplace poker. Now this one's interesting. He obviously has on a UK sweatshirt, but why does he look like Bat Boy? Now this guy's a little funny looking. I think he needs to pull his pants up. Um, you know, I don't see too many people in Kentucky wearing hats like that, but at least it has a K on it. That thing on the right kind of looks like a one of those parking meters in Lexington. And of course, there's a little UK wildcat on his left. He doesn't look real happy, does he? Next up is Tennessee. And I have no idea what this is supposed to be. A marshmallow or why does she have a gun pointed at her temple? That's a little strange. They got the shade of orange right though for UT. This one looks a little more Tennessee to me than that first one, except for the fact that there's an orange floating over top of that guitar on the right. I'm pretty sure there's not too many oranges grown in the volunteer state. And what is that thing up above his right shoulder? Kind of looks like cheese. This Tennessee one is a little on par because, you know, he's got his, that actually looks like a mandolin. It don't look like a guitar, but does this look more Texas to you than Tennessee? Next up, we have wild and wonderful West Virginia. And this guy, I don't know, he looks like a banker slash sheriff from an Old West movie or something. I don't, this don't say West Virginia to me. This one looks a little more West Virginia to me. It makes me think of the West Virginia University mascot, um, especially the overalls. I'm not real sure what's going on here. Apparently this guy has four arms. Do people in West Virginia have four arms? His eyes look a little glassy too. I won't comment on that. Next up is Virginia. And this looks like a Uncle Sam when he was a kid or something. It's a little odd. This Virginia, she looks more like a Karen than a Virginia. I guess these say Virginia, but they seem a little plain. Next up is North Carolina. I can't say this filler makes me think of North Carolina other than the color of his hat. The green shirt doesn't really make me think North Carolina at all. This looks more like a North Carolina cartoon to me. He's got what should be a basketball, maybe like a basketball and a soccer ball had a baby. I don't know what that's about. And I don't know what that is or how it came up with it, but it's apparently wearing Crocs with socks. Do y'all do that down there in North Carolina? And of course you don't do North Carolina without doing South Carolina. Well, I know that's not the South Carolina flag. Why does he have a walking cane? Now for some reason, this to me looks like Charleston, South Carolina. I guess it's the sailor's hat, but boy, he's happy to be there, ain't he? Woo! Lord have mercy. Ah. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know. If anybody from South Carolina can explain what that might represent, let me know in the comments. That's scary. Next up, we have the great state of Georgia. And this little girl, I don't know. She just looks, she don't look particularly like a person from Georgia for some reason. Um, I don't know that this guy does either. He doesn't have a neck. I know a couple people from Georgia and their heads don't float above their bodies like that. This is an odd one. 
He makes me think of like a railroad conductor or something, but I don't know. I expected a bulldog or something for the Georgia one, but apparently not. And now on to Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> now y'all y'all know the University of Alabama's mascot is the Crimson Tide and it's a big elephant what ha what happened to his nose <laughs> now this looks like a truck driver to me I guess an Alabama truck driver he don't have an A on anywhere now to me this is an Alabama fan right after they lost the football game to Auburn. Next up is Mississippi. His shirt says Miss! Exclamation point. Those teeth are... Those teeth are something to deal with, ain't they? Why does he make me think of Papa Legba from American Horror Story? I think it's the hat. Woo! Yikes! That, ooh. He looks really upset. Now, for some reason, this to me... Looks like an old time, back in the day, Mississippi sharecropper. I guess it's the overalls. And now we have Louisiana, because I thought it would be a fun one to see what it researched and came up with. Oh. Is that a shrimp holding a crab that's had its arms pulled off? <laughs> Maybe it's a fit? No, that's a crawdad. That's a crawdad holding something. What is that? I'm really curious to hear y'all's opinions about these in the comments. <laughs> now here's another Louisiana. He looks like he could be from just about anywhere. Oh, other than the scary teeth that this one has, he looks like somebody go alligator hunting. I can just hear him going, shoot him. And yes, Swamp People is one of my favorite shows of all time. So now that we've breezed through some of our Appalachian and Southern states, let's play with some other ones. First, let's check out Indiana. And I have no idea what is going on with that flag in the background or even what this creature is. It looks like a pea that grew legs and it's holding a trident or something. What? A frog? What is Indiana known for that's green? That's really weird. Is that a gopher? Groundhog? See, I would expect this more with Pennsylvania because of Groundhog Day. That don't make me think Indiana. I'm not exactly sure what happened to that shovel he's holding, but whatever he was digging was awful hard. Or he was digging awful hard. And there, here's another green thing, a pea. Did they grow peas in Indiana? What is these things that look like peas? At least he's holding a basketball because Indiana used to have a good basketball team. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm from Kentucky. Now let's check out Ohio, Kentucky's neighbor to the north. Got another marshmallow looking thing. I, <laughs> I like how it went to the effort to try to put Ohio on the hat, but just put Oho. <laughs> so hello to all you subscribers living up in Oho. And I'm gonna guess those are Buckeyes coming out of his ears. I'm not real sure. Now this, I can kind of see the Ohio flag if you put his hat and his shirt together, but really this looks like he could be from anywhere. This guy looks like he could be from anywhere too, but he looks like he's up to something. What is that he's holding, cheese? Why do things that look like cheese keep showing up in these? So next I decided to do the same thing, but instead of using a state, I decided to use Appalachia. Now this fella looks good and friendly. You can tell he's from the mountains because of the background. He just looks like a good friendly mountain man who would invite you in for some soup, beans, and cornbread. Oh, that's, well, I can't say I've never looked like that at any point in my life, but you. Oh, another bad one, shoo. Now there's all these jokes about people in Appalachia having missing teeth or something, but this guy has extra teeth. I don't know how I come up with that. Next, I decided to play a little bit and ask the AI to create a cartoon character of a tourist in Pigeon Forge. Look at these. Now he looks a little more German to me <laughs> than anything. I think it's the hair and the lederhosen looking outfit he's got on. 
Oh, look at him. Look at the background. The background's what really gets kind of creepy. And why do these two tourists have overalls or later hosing on? What's that later hosing? I don't know what later hosing looks like. This makes me think of those scarecrow people they put out in Gatlinburg in the fall a little bit. It's still a little disturbing, ain't it? That little bitty guitar on that big, big body. And finally, I just decided to pick three cities that I'm familiar with and see what it came up for those. First was Knoxville, Tennessee. Look at this thing. <laughs> at least it's orange for UT and there's something that somewhat looks like the sun sphere in the background, but this one's a little disturbing to me too. Next is Louisville, Kentucky. And I really don't know what's going on here. That arch in the back would make me think St. Louis, but I don't know. It's interesting to me too, how much this man looks like Colonel Sanders, but at least he's got a bourbon barrel down by his feet, even though it's teeny tiny. And finally, Lexington, Kentucky, since it's right up the road. And again, he looks a little bit like Colonel Sanders. I think the thing on the left at the top kind of looks like the Clay's Ferry Bridge. And of course you've got things on both sides that kind of look like horses, but I'm not sure what some of this other stuff is. That's all of my little experiment, creating cartoon characters with AI. AI, yeah, it's a little creepy to me too, but I thought I'd find some way to have some fun with it. If you want to try this yourself, you can go to bing.com, click on images, and then on the right hand side, you'll see a thing that says create image for me. Type in whatever you want, see what comes up. If you do it, let me know. I'd love to hear what it came up with for you and what you typed in to get it. As always, thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you again soon.